my lighting sucks. Okay, everyone, hello, welcome back. Uh, today, I've just got kind of a update video and kind of a little crafty project that I'm gonna do at the end. Um, so, sorry I haven't posted anything in quite a while, but I am actually waiting on parts for another video that I'm making currently. Um, it's, it's, it's cool, and I'm, it's like right now, it's really cool. Hopefully you can tell that the video quality is a little bit better here. Uh, I've got a new camera, it's the Canon M50. So that's gonna be kind of the, the main driver from now on, you're gonna be looking through this camera uh, instead of this little, um, <laughs> this is the camera I've been using. It's a E 4K Plus, it's just a little action camera with a little rig on and it's got cute little, you know, ND filter and uh, it's, it's literally just like a GoPro and that's what I've been using. Um, so that's what you've been seeing, but now you're looking through the Canon M50. So does it look better? I think it looks great. Um, I like it a lot. Other news, I've been 3D printing a bunch of things. Here, check this out. I 3D printed a case for the M50, designed it myself. Drop the camera in there, there's some foam padding. The case just kind of comes together like that. And this little elastic strap that goes around it holds the camera nicely. Also 3D printed a GoPro phone mount. Little like it sees literally a hair tie. Cool. Can you guess what's in here? This is a one dollar case from Dollar Tree. Uh, literally just picked it up for a buck, and it's just a little dual case. Uh, but what's inside is pretty cool. It's the Mavic 2 Pro. So I got this drone uh, because I do a lot of uh, aerial photography roof inspections, things like that, and I do some commercial things, commercial uh, Part 107 certified drone pilot, so I can uh, make some money flying a drone around. Um, so I think you printed these little motor protectors. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, been using the 3D printer a lot for some reason, just, just like doing it. Um, <laughs> there's more things that I 3D printed, check this out. So this is a tripod mount for the Mavic 2 Pro. So this little mount literally just wraps around the body of the drone and I can uh, stick a tripod on it and hold it around. I can turn the drone on and just uh, have a little remote set up. Um, so it's on a tripod and it's basically just gonna run the gimbal. And uh, this thing has a nice enough camera on it that you can use it for like, you know, just smooth shots. It does do uh, 120 uh, frames per second at 1080p. So that's gonna be really nice for things like B-roll or uh, slow motion stuff. Uh, so just a cheap little 3D printed part with some Velcro and some uh, mounting tape and then I just put a little quarter 20 nut in the center and epoxied it in there so it can mount to a quarter 20 tripod. What else? So title of the video. So I'm going to be making a DIY soft box for less than 20 bucks today. So you can go out and you can spend like hundreds of dollars on really nice lighting, um, get it all you know fancy and professional looking but that's not currently within my budget, nor do I think that um, something like lighting needs to be that expensive. Absolutely something you can do it yourself. So I literally just went to Walmart and uh, shopped around for what I could find to make my own softbox. So here's the main thing you're gonna need. It's gonna be this kind of clamp light. Uh, this was $7 on sale at Walmart. So I thought that was just a great deal. Seven bucks uh, for a lamp, and it's already got its own little aluminum reflector in there. Uh, that's gonna be kind of the main body of this thing. You'll also obviously need a light bulb. Uh, I went with a 100 watt equivalent uh, daylight LED light bulb. Uh, it's not dimmable. Uh, the, the dimmable version was more expensive, but I'm not gonna put a dimmer on this thing. It was $4, so we're up to 11. Frosted shower curtain. This was like two bucks, and that's gonna be basically your diffuser for the light. If you want to make your own softbox, that's pretty much all you're going to need. I also got I also got a big piece of foam core. It uses like a bounce light, and then to work that bounce, this is a uh, just an LED work light. It was five bucks, and I couldn't pass that up. Uh, it takes nine volt batteries, and it's insanely super bright. Check this out. Okay. Woo! Okay, that's really bright. But you. Oh. oh. Okay, it's really bright. Five bucks, nice little bounce light or uh, fill light, whatever you want to call it. That took me up to just, just under 20 bucks for, for all of that gear. Uh, tools, you're literally just gonna need like 
a utility knife or scissors or a pocket knife, whatever you got, and some duct tape or Gorilla tape. Let's get started. Uh, it's going to be very simple, very quick, so anyone can do this under 20 bucks. Get a nice soft box on your action. Okay, very simple project here. All you're going to do is take your shower curtain. light down on top of it and just trace around it with your knife but make sure you leave you know some because you're going to be taking it over the edge so okay so you've got your little disc and Depending on how much light you want to diffuse, you can do, you know, three or four of these. So I'm going to do like two, and I'm literally just eyeballing this. The... Okay, two discs cut out here, and I'm literally just going to... Kind of a nice idea is just to kind of start with one piece of tape. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it over top of your light. Then you just tape all the way around. Make sure you get the liner to stay as flat as possible across there because that's going to mess up your lighting. Also, don't forget to have your light bulb in there first. That's pretty important, right? But you get the idea. So you just you, you just tape a shower curtain liner over top of one of these lamps, okay? <laughs> okay, let's test that out. Okay, so here's the light, and let's get it turned on. Not bad, right? Okay, so there I have the light set up. It's uh, actually right there, and I have this foam board right next to the camera, bouncing off of it, and running the film on the left side of my face. So right now I am at uh, 1 over 50 shutter speed, aperture 3.5, and ISO 250. Okay, so that's kind of how that looks. Um, here's the light as it is plugged in. It's still pretty bright, but if you use this foam board with it, you can have a nice bounce effect. So there I am back at ISO 1000 with the light off. Um, it, it doesn't look as good, right? It looks kind of weird. So, the lamp does have uh, a little mounting ring so you can hang it off of things. It has a little clamp you can clamp onto stuff and kind of position it however you want and then tighten that down. So, it's actually really versatile. So, that is a really quick and simple $20 softbox uh, from stuff you find at Walmart. Uh, really just a aluminum lamp and a light bulb and a shower curtain uh, and some tape. Anyways, that's today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next one because it is going to be a proper build video. So thanks for watching.